Alright, what's up guys? So I'm really excited about today because I got something in the mail I've been looking forward to for a while. So I figured why not unbox it here, show you guys, set it up, and then kind of give you my initial thoughts on it. But today we're talking about the True North Concepts Modular Holster Adapter. <laughs> All right, so I've had some time to run the True North Concepts modular holster adapter, and I wanted to give you guys some of my initial thoughts and uh, first impressions. Really quick, the reason I switched over to this was in the previous video, my previous belt video, you saw that I was running the G-code system. And while I never had any issues with it, um, the only problem that I really had was that I couldn't switch out holsters with the guys that I train with. So all the guys that I train with are LE, Mill, uh, private security, et cetera, and they all run Safari Land. So when we're out on training days, they could swap out holsters, but I couldn't swap out holsters with them. So I got kind of sick of that. And now I was like, you know what? I'll switch over to Safari Land right about that time. This came out and I was like, okay, so let me wait and see what this is all about. And that may be the route that I go. So for me, this actually solved a few problems. Um, one is that uh, G the G-Code RTI system used to be adjustable. You used to be able to rotate it so you could adjust the angle of cant. And then on the newer version with the uh, the thigh strap, they got rid of that. And I'm not sure why, but that was something I really liked about the first generation. So when I saw this, that you could adjust it, I was like, you know what? That is what I want, that's what I need. So you have your, uh, you can adjust height. So you got three different heights you can go to along with adjusting your uh, negative and positive cant which is really awesome for guys who, who want to do that and don't want to have to run that extra adapter plate. So it works out, it's just less moving parts, it's better. Uh, one of the other things that I really like about this is that you have a narrower footprint on your belt. So as the G-code, it's not much shorter or much narrower as far as how much space it takes up on your belt, but it's especially narrower than the, uh, the Safari Land. And I really like that. And I really like how easy it is to get it off and on, especially if you're using the Molly. You just undo the two screws, you slide it out, you move it into another one, boom, you're done. This one, it was a pain to get it on. It was great because I knew it wasn't gonna come off easy, but then when I wanted to get it off or to try to adjust where it was on my belt, it was a nightmare and it took forever just fighting the Velcro on the inside, trying to get the belt through to get it in position. Um, even loosening all the screws, it still didn't really help. And so. That was one of the frustrations I had about this. Um, and the other thing too was that it would kind of walk, it would wobble on the belt. And this one, no matter how much you try to move it up or down or twist it, it's not going anywhere. So I really like that, um, that aspect of it. Uh, I like the modularity, I like the options it gives you. I like the small footprint. It is dev definitely more rigid than the plastic. You can tell that right away. Uh, one thing that I've yet to, to find and time will tell on this is if it continues to give the hot spot that some guys get from using the standard Safari Land. One of the great things about the G-Code is that if you look here, you can see that it's curved. So it kind of goes with your, your body. Same thing on the, on the thigh strap. So this is actually a, a kind of bendable plastic and it will go, it get, it's got some give in it. So it'll go with your uh, thigh strap. So it's not digging into you. The True North, on the other hand, is very much rigid aluminum, and there's gonna be no give there. But because it's not as wide, uh, because it's not as wide this way, I don't think it'll be as much of an issue, but time will tell on that. I've only run it for a little bit at a time. I haven't had a chance to have a full two or three days on it, uh, like if we're doing a lot of training or on course or whatever, or for you guys who are wearing it on duty, that's something you may wanna consider. Try it out beforehand and see. Um, but all initial impressions are that it's, probably the best option on the market as far as uh, modular holster adapters go. And with this, you can also run, if you wanna mount the holster directly to the plate, you can do that. You don't have to use the Safari Land. Um, and then the other thing too is, is you don't have to use these plates right here. So you can actually use, they make a, the tech lock mounts. So if you're running, if you've got a competition holster, you can actually use the tech lock and uh, take it off and on that way if, if that's uh, easier for you. So it's another great option to it. Uh, a lot, you can tell a lot of thought and ingenuity went into this product. I really like it. I, again, I think it's the best option on the market. So yeah, I'm, I'm interested to continue to run it some more. If you're in the market for looking for something like that, I would definitely give it a shot. Really quick how I've got mine set up. Uh, I've got my QVO holster uh, attached to the Safari Land mount and then set it in. 
I've got it on the lowest setting um, with the most amount of negative cant that I could get, uh, just to put it in a better position for me. I can already tell that it is faster. I can already tell that it's more comfortable. Uh, it's in a more natural position. So I'm really excited about that. Continue to get some reps on it that way. Uh, I really enjoy have enjoyed using it so far. I've also got the T-Rex arms thigh strap uh, put in there. So <clears throat> I, I so far using it has been amazing. I will say that it's one of those things that if you're, if you're in the market to switch over to a different type of platform, like if you're running G-Code like I was and you're looking to switch over to Safari Land, I would say go this route. If you're already in Safari Land and you don't really have any issues, you don't care for the positive cant, um, and you don't, wanna, you don't wanna go to that negative cant or a you know, true vertical, there's not really any other in, uh, incentive for you to switch over to this. But if you're looking at being able to adjust the cant of your pistol, and maybe having a smaller footprint on your belt, maybe something that's a little more rigid, then I would say this is definitely a better option for you than this, the factory Safari Land. So if you're, if you're in that boat, instead of getting the adapter plate, I know there's a couple out on the market now, because uh, then you've got the screws that go into the, to the Safari Land and then mount to the holster, and it's kind of, it's just, it's just an awkward fix. This, I think, goes back to the drawing board, you know, with a clean slate, and says, okay, how can we make something better from the get-go? and has provided that. And I, I really like this. So again, if you're looking to get into that's where you can adjust the angle of it, this is definitely, I think, a better route to go than having those additional plates. Um, but again, if you don't have an issue with it, then you're good with what you got. Uh, but yeah, so that's just my, my quick take on it. Um, time will tell as far as comfort goes. Uh, I don't see durability being an issue. But again, my big concern is gonna be how comfortable is it gonna be over time, right? For, so for those of you guys who are doing this for a profession and you're wearing this for eight, 10, 12 hours a day, sometimes more if you're working overtime or whatever, how comfortable is that gonna be when you're sitting in the car? How comfortable is it gonna be? Is it gonna dig into you and rub on you? So that's one of the things I'm interested to find out over time and time will tell. Uh, one, one quick note on here, I, again, I said I had it in the lowest setting. If you have it higher up, it is uh, compatible or same height as the mid-ride. So if you're used to running the mid-ride at work, this, it's gonna be about that height. You can go a little bit lower, and again, you can change your angle, uh, but it gives you plenty of options to work with and, and see what works best for you. Gets the gun out of your way, so if you've got kit, you know, if you're wearing your outside, some of your departments run outside plate carriers, and you may have medical, or you may have whatever, an admin pouch right here, and this gives you a little more clearance. So, again, uh, True North Concepts, amazing product, can't recommend it enough. I think they're 75 bucks online right now. Uh, the, the tan anodized is in stock, or it was at the time of this making this video. Uh, black was out of stock, but I think I saw that they're saying two weeks. Two weeks is what they were anticipating, and that was uh, a few days ago. So uh, they should be back in stock anytime soon. But go check them out. I'll leave a link down below. I don't make anything off of it, just trying to help you guys out. Uh, but yeah, thank, thank you guys for watching. Um, what, what is it, the thing that we say as YouTubers? Uh, yeah, make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. Cry and tap that bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Oh, excuse me. Mm. I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't do that. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> well, what the benefit I think uh, this could... Uh.